The next step is excavating the trenches for both the external and internal walls. Then we dispose of the excavated material from the site. So how do we calculate the volume of the soil in the trenches that we are going to excavate? The first thing we need to know that when we are calculating volume, volume is equal to length times width times depth of soil. Okay, so what is the length? The length shall be the center line of the trenches. For example, this is the plan. So the external walls are this one here. Here we go. Uh-huh. This way. This way. Then we go up to the here. Back. The internal wall is here. So to calculate the length of the external wall, we need to get the center line of that wall. Then for the internal wall, we need to get the uh, the center line of this wall so that we can get the total length of the trench. So, uh -huh. so how do we find the center line of the external trench? Which, to find the center line of the external trench, we will take the length we take, for example, from here up to here. It's 11,000. All right. So remember when we are taking off, uh, when we are measuring the center line, we usually take the external dimensions. Then we deduct number of corners times the thickness of the wall. Or we will take internal dimensions. Then we add number of corners times the thickness of the wall. Here, the, uh, the thickness of the trench, for example, in the external wall is 750. Let us just use this diagram. Uh, the thickness of the trench is 750. The wall is positioned at the center. This means that the center line of this wall shall be the center line of the trench because uh, both sides of the spread are equal. So if we find the center of this trench is the same as the center of this wall, I hope that is clear. So uh, how do we find the center line for this wall? We have the external dimensions of the wall from here up to here, from here up to here. So how do we calculate the center line of the wall? If we have the dimensions from here to here is 11,000, then we have the dimensions from here to here is 8,600. To get the center line, first we will take the total length, the total perimeter of the external dimensions of the wall. So uh, from here to here is 11,000. That is one wall. What about this other wall that is similar to this wall on the other side? We can see from here up to here is 7,700. And also if we take from here mm -hmm, up to here, if we take this, this length, plus this length, it should give us this length. I hope that can be seen. Uh, that one is just looking at it and you can be able to understand. This wall is equals to this one plus this one because the external wall is starting here. All right, then it is starting, it is stopping here. So uh, if we say 11 meters multiply, uh, times two, it will be correct to have measured this one and this one and this one. All right, 11 meter. Then the other 11 meters is here and here. So that's why we'll say 2 times 11 meters is 22 meters. Then for the width, from here up to here is 8,600. Then what is the length here? All right, so here, from here to here is this one, this length plus this length plus this length plus this length is equals to this full length. I hope that is clear because it's it's easy, isn't it? So this length plus this length plus this length plus this length is the same as this length. So 8600 times 2, we shall have measured this length. All right. So 2 times 8.6 shall be 17.2. All right. So in external walls, surely, what have we not measured? We have measured this one. We have measured this one. We have measured this one too. We have measured this one. We have measured this one, this one, this one, and this one. If you cannot very clearly, we have not measured this one and this one. Because on for the external length, uh, we need them. So uh, what is the dimension from here up to here? It's 750. 750 times 2, we shall have got... 
1.50. So the total length of the external perimeter of this building is 40.70 when you add the 3. Remember, when we are measuring the center line, we'll take the external perimeter, we deduct number of corners times the thickness of the wall. How many corners do we have? In a building where we have recesses, like this one, this one is a corner recess and we have protrusions. So how do we calculate the number of corners? The number of corners is equal to number of external corners minus numbers of internal corners. So uh, how many external corners do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven external corners. How many internal corners? One, two, three. All right? Seven minus three, four. So that's four. We multiply by the thickness of the external wall, which is 253. We get 1.012. So what is the center line of the external wall? We shall take 40.7. We deduct 1.012. We get 39.688. To get the volume of the soil, we need the length, the width, and the depth. What is the depth of the external wall? All right. Now we can go back to the section. Uh, for the section, we are told the depth from here to here is 225. From here to the ground is 675. We are excavating from the strip level. Remember, we excavated the 150 millimeters top soil. So from the strip level, what depth shall we excavate to get to the bottom of the trench? We shall take 225 plus 675 to get the depth from the ground level. Then we shall deduct 150. So 225. We add 675, we get 900. We less the excavation we had done for topsoil. We get the depth that we need to excavate to get the, to the bottom of the trench is 750. So now we have the depth of the excavation for the uh, external trench. And we have the total center line of the external walls. Let's go to the internal walls so that you can be able to fill them in together. For the internal walls, for the internal wall trenches, we need to find the length, all right? The length, we always find it from the plan, all right? Now, this is the plan. The external, the internal wall starts from here up to here. Remember, it's the trench. And the trench is ex it's represented by the broken line. We have already excavated this trench up to here. We have already excavated this external trench up to here. The way the broken line goes. Now we are excavating the internal trench from here, where it meets the external trench, to here, where it meets the external trench. Look very keenly. We are not excavating from this wall, it's from the trench. It's where we are meeting the external trench. So it's here and it's here. Alright? I hope that is very clear. You have to note that one. And I have to come again. We are excavating from where it meets the external trench up to where it meets the external trend, this distance here. All right, thank you. So uh, what is the length from here to here? If the length from here to here, all right, the external uh, dimensions is 7.7. .7. The length of the wall from here to here is 7.7. .7. So we need to deduct, uh -huh. we need to deduct the thickness of this external wall so that we can deduct it from 7.7 .7, and the spread of the external wall up to here. Then on this side, 7.7 .7 gets up to here. We need to deduct the thickness of the wall and the spread of the external wall. Alright, so we shall start with 7.7. 7.7 we deduct the thickness of the external walls which is 253. So, 253, we shall deduct both this side and this side. So, it shall be 253 times 2. It shall be 506. Then, we deduct the foundation spread. This side and this side. Two sides. So, 2 times 248.5. It shall be 497. So, uh, we shall, when you come to deducting, uh -huh, we shall deduct. 7.7 .7 less 0 0.506 less 0 
0.7. The total of 0.506 and 0.497 is 1.003. So the total uh, the total length for the trench shall be 6.697. The depth of the internal trench shall be uh, we always measure from the bottom of the trench 200 plus 350 plus 150. You can see from here up to here where we have the ground level is uh, we shall take 150 plus 350 plus 200 uh, because this level is the one taking here. So from here to here it's 250 but the ground level is at this level. So uh, remember 200 plus 350, 550 plus 150 shall be uh, 700. Then we deduct 150 for topsoil. So it shall remain 550. Alright? So um, 550 is the depth of the internal wall. So what is the volume of the soil in the trenches? So uh, it shall be you see uh, here, uh, the volume of the soil in the trenches, we shall take the center line of the external trench times the width of the external trench times the depth of excavation of the, top, of the external trench. Then uh, for the internal trench is the length of the wall for the trench, mid center line of the trench for the internal wall multiplied by the width of the internal trench multiplied by the depth of excavation of the trench from the stripped level. So when you're putting it in, it shall be uh, excavation of trenches less greater than 0 0.3 meters wide and less than or equal to 1 meter maximum depth. All right, Because uh, trenches, we usually excavate them uh, in ranges of 1 meter using the NRM. Then, uh, this one includes the external walls first, then the internal walls. Then all this soil, this total volume of soil, we shall dispose of the excavated material from site. So these uh, volumes we shall use for the cost of excavating. Then this volume we shall also use for, to find the cost of disposing the excavated material from site. So now we need to move on to foundation three, the third step. Where am I?